Hi, welcome to Talking Life. I'm Raja, your excellence mentor on this journey called life. I'm here to make your life a lot easier and simpler and less stressful so you can enjoy it and have an outstanding one. Today, I'm going to be talking about the subject that I have been asked to talk about so many times, and that is stress. I'm pretty sure you know a lot about stress, and you know how to handle it, and you know how to feel when you're stressed out, but because it was a subject that was requested from me, I'm going to talk about it and make it as simple as possible for you. So today, the episode is going to be about the biology of stress and its effects on us. And in future videos, I will be talking about different kinds of stresses, how to deal with them, and provide you with some tools and some techniques that will help you overcome stress. So let us start by understanding what is stress. Is it good? Is it bad? Do we need it? Can we get rid of it? So all these questions I have been asked. So let us start by stress. Stress is neither good or bad. Stress is something that we go through and we cannot get rid of. Stress is how we respond to the demands that we have on us in our daily living. So for example, what is stressful for me may not be stressful at all for someone else. However, there are certain life situations that are absolutely stressful and it's gonna affect us tremendously and is gonna be so difficult to deal with and sometimes we will need help to overcome this hardship such as the death of a loved one, divorcing or um, divorces, separation, uh, uh, even marriage. Marriage is a very good stress, it's a good time, but it is stressful. You're going through a very good time, but it's still stressful on you. So stress, if it's short and if it is not uh, intense, then it is good for us because it's going to motivate us to work. For example, when we're stressed out about the exam or a deadline for a project that we have to submit, then we have to work hard in order for us to accomplish what we want to. However, if stress is going to be intense and it's going to be on a daily basis uh, that we go through, then that is when life becomes hectic, overwhelming, and it's going to be hard to deal with. So now that we agreed, stress is part of life and we cannot get rid of it. So let us learn maybe how stress affects us and what are the symptoms because every person is different and stress affects them in a different way. There are no two people that are the same. We are biologically different, biochemically different, so our responses to stress as well are going to be different. So I have prepared this a chart here for you that will explain to you. I'm not sure if you can see it properly. I will start talking about it now. But in this chart, I am showing you how stress affects us. So let me talk first about the hormones. So when we are under stress, what happens, our body or our adrenals start releasing hormones. And those hormones usually, they are the stress hormones such as adrenaline, cortisol, and noradrenaline. So these hormones, they're produced in order to help us cope with stress. 
So for example, in the old day, when the caveman had a lion or someone, a gorilla that came all of a sudden in front of them, they needed to act immediately and they needed to run away as fast as they can. And for that to happen, there were supposed to uh, biological and biochemical uh, reactions that will happen in the body in order to help that man run away from that lion or today for us to escape a car that's coming at us or from a, in an accident so those hormones when they are released usually in the old days when you're faced with a challenge with a crisis with the lion then the hormones they're released they go up and then after some time when that trigger and that stressor is not there then the hormones go back down until you have another stressor the hormones are released you run away from that lion or bear and then the hormones go back again down what's happening in our life today is that our lives are full of daily stressors and those stressors they're nagging and they they continue to happen in our lives so when we're stressed out then we have the hormones they're released but what's happening now is that hormones are released and they're always there almost always there oh you're you're stressed at work okay you go back oh they went down a bit then you ha you're, you're stuck in traffic for example you're stressed about the traffic the hormones are released then you go back home the children they're crying they want to eat they want to study then the hormones go up and then so you're going up and down up and down like in a zigzag so the hormones are not going back to a baseline and they're always produced so let me tell you how these hormones you know the most of them which is cortisol people talk about that this is the stress hormone so when cortisol is produced what happens then you are gonna have um, it's gonna cause muscle tension it's gonna cause increased heart rate don't forget now if you go back to the old caveman and to the example of the lion or the bear or the gorilla running away from that then of course you need the heart rate to increase because you need the heart to pump more blood and oxygen that will go to the muscles and with that the uh, breathing increases so that's as well going to increase and then you have increased arterial blood pressure so the blood is going to go all the way to the muscles to the limbs to help you or to help the old man <laughs> old cave old cave man run away and then you have increased blood sugar because of course you need energy your digestion doesn't need the blood flow, doesn't need the, the oxygen. So all the oxygen, all the sugar, all the energy is going out of the digestion, out to the limbs, out to the, uh, out to the periphery. And then uh, the pupil dilates as well. This is one of the things that happen when you're under stress and you increase in uh, perspiration so with all of these these are all biological responses which are helpful in dealing with stress however when we have continuously stress on a daily basis in our lives then that will start then to have all the complications that we see today and you it will cause reduced immunity so when we are stressed out we have less immunity we get sick more we cannot cope with stress and then you're gonna see all kind of uh symptoms such as muscle tension pain in the muscles aches you're gonna see you're gonna feel headaches so and all of this based on the biological response of the body is uh, expected right because that's what the hormones 
uh, are released for that's what they're doing in the body thank you for being here thank you for listening to me and for allowing me to be part of your life peace and love to you and i'll see you next time until i see you be blessed bye bye